In this video, we're going to talk about the different kinds of surface analyses you can do as part of Civil 3D. The first thing to note is that I have already deleted uh, the labels that we created in the last videos and some of the surfaces that we had down here in previous videos. Uh, so all we have now is the EG surface that we've been working with all along. And so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to right click on our EG surface. We're going to go to surface properties and inside of surface properties, what you'll see is we have the information tab, the definitions tab, which we've already talked about. And then now we're working in the analysis tab. So inside of the analysis tab, there are multiple surface analyses that you can perform. They are as follows, contours, directions, elevations, slopes, slope arrows, user-defined contours, and watersheds. So we're gonna go ahead and move through each of them and talk about what they do. So contours, if you look at contours, every time you do an analysis, you're gonna see in here the legend. So how that information is gonna be displayed if you were to place a legend in the drawing, what the number of ranges are that you're gonna be analyzing, and then down in here, the range details. So once you select the number of ranges you wanna work with, for example, we'll say five for contours, and I hit the down arrow, what Civil 3D is gonna do is it's gonna populate my ranges down below in the range details window. And so inside the range details window, you can set for each individual range what the minimum and maximum is gonna be for that range. So in our case for contours, it is gonna color a specific contour between the elevation ranges of 160 and 177.894. It's gonna make it red and so on and so forth moving down through these. And so if a contour falls in that range, it will be colored whatever color is associated with either the major contours being the bright colors and then the minor contours being these kind of more muted colors. Moving on from here, we can go to directions. And what directions is, is it is an analysis of the direction of the face of your surface. So if a triangle is facing a specific direction, it's gonna display a certain way. So if I look at this, it's gonna say, what is your direction, or your minimum and maximum direction? And it's, gonna, and it's gonna radiate around 360 degrees going in each direction. And if your range of your directions falls within a certain range, if the triangles fall within a certain range of that direction, it'll color that face of that triangle in the specified color. Moving on to elevations, this is different than contours because it actually colors the entire surface in that elevation range. And so if I select a range of eight and I press down, it will color them going from light to dark, going from 160 feet to 195 feet, and it will vary the colors based on what elevation range it falls inside of. And this is interesting because you can create bathymetric maps using this. So you can, if you have a surface and you have specified your elevations, then you can basically create a heat map of elevations using the elevation analysis. Slope analysis, this basically looks at what your minimum slope is and what your maximum slope is and colors your triangles based on what the slope of that triangle is. And so if it falls in a certain range, it will color that triangle. If it falls outside of that range, for any of these, if it doesn't fall within the range specified in the range details, it doesn't apply the analysis to that area. Moving on to slope arrows, it's the same thing as the slope analysis, except for instead of applying a color to the surface, it applies an arrow to the surface and it colors that arrow in the direction of the slope and a specific color based on that the, the slope range that is specified down in the range details. Moving on to user-defined contours, you can go ahead and increase the number of ranges, go down, and it will color specific elevations of contours. So you can specify an elevation. If you know that your mean high tide line is at 5.5 feet, and you know that you have a FEMA floodplain at eight feet, then you can find out where those elevations fall on your surface. Moving on to watersheds, so you can go here, you can basically apply down. And so what this is looking at is this is looking at what your boundary segments are, your depression areas, your flat areas, your multi-drain areas, and it's applying different display styles for the different types of watershed areas. So that's all the different analyses that we have available to us. Uh, we're gonna go ahead in the next video and talk about how to actually work through setting up our ranges and displaying a surface analysis.